Hey everybody, it's Karen from Art for Acrylics. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel here at Studio 205. I'm so taken with that color combo. I'm going again. I knew this was going to turn into a series. I'm going to try again um, for just a big pretty bloom on a 16 by 20 deep edge canvas. Mostly because I already have the frame for it. So <laughs> let me get you down. All right, guys, I'm back to try this again. Feeling hopeful, feeling perky. Let's do this. Let's start off with, I'm gonna put my white wick down again. I don't think, it, I don't think I'm gonna start with the titanium white. I'm gonna start off with my Da Vinci Fluid Acrylics and kill off my Payne's Gray. So do Payne's Gray. The Cobalt Blue, that's golden as well. I was supposed to be teal, shoot. Oh wow, I just screwed up the order. The teal, is that gonna matter? I think it will. I'm gonna throw a little bit of uh, Payne's Gray on top of that teal since I just already screwed it up. Just something for the titanium white as a color to sit on. And this. Kill that off. And then my gold cell activator. This is Amsterdam Deep Gold. Go a bunch of that. Wow, oh, I used up all my cups too. All right, let's blow this out. Cool high fan. This is my Glidden Essentials in eggshell. That's what the base is. Here it goes. Oh, that was a long blowout. Sorry about that. I am going to puff in the middle where that gold is. All right, so give a puff there. I was trying to blow out the edges so I wouldn't have any hard lines. Although I think I want to do a third one with hard lines. Color's a little, little more teal because I screwed up the order, but it's still, it's still pretty. I've got a, like a line here. We'll see how that plays out. I do love the gold lacing wherever the Payne's Gray is. It's super pretty. So let's just give this a baby spin. I'm hoping this one is quick and easy, but you know how that goes. A 
open things up a little bit. I think I'm going to tilt a little bit this way. Slide everything over, open up that middle. All right, here goes. Just gonna let it go for a second. See, see a couple corners I still need to get to. Good grief, this color combo. I mean, it's just so pretty. Um, I want that stuff up there to come off and I need coverage on that one corner. Maybe I just add a little paint there. To help it get, get where it's going. And anything else that bothers me? I don't think so. Oh my goodness. Yeah, really, really loving the white as a color with the gold CA. That's a big winner for me. Yeah, let me take, can you guys see where I'm pointing? Uh, low battery, that's not good. Um, let me put it up at your end so you can see where I'm talking about. Like this stuff. I want that to just like fall off the edge like it did on the other side. Uh... And yeah, oh yeah, oh well, my goodness, is going to be that easy? Am I just going to have an awesome painting day? Are you going off? Going, going. That did the trick. Holy prettiness, y'all. I feel like it looks like it's upside down. For me, let me look at the other orientation where that's the top and this is the bottom. Where's my skewer? I'm going to make sure I got enough paint off too. Super thin in the middle. Yeah. Uh, is it going to be that fast? I think so, y'all. Cheddar! I'm two for two. I'm, I think I'm still partial to the one from the last video, only because this one is more teal-centric, and the teal is such a strong, opaque color that I feel like it overpowered the, um... What is this? The cobalt blue, which is very, very transparent. Um, so I didn't get the gradient of colors like I did on the last one. Maybe a little bit here, but the um, the white the white bands of the uh, opaque white, and then with the gold lacing is just primo. I just love that. I feel like um, it makes the cell activator looks soft and it's not the star of the show it leaves the colors to be the star of the show instead so i'm really happy with that yeah enough babbling let me get you down for a close-up all right guys here's a close-up of the wet results got it down on my gym mat to dry i'm going to cover it up Uh, this one is softer and not prettier. It has a different look. You'll see when, um, when I get them side by side. The other one definitely has more of a, a wild quality to it. But, I mean, there's no denying the colors. Uh, I think I still prefer the first one from the previous video because of the way the teal 
as I said, kind of took over a little bit. I'm, I'm feeling a third coming on for sure. I'm just totally enamored um, with the gold lacing like that. Look at that. And then see the gold lacing everywhere. And then it's hard to see right here. Maybe up in here you can see the white um, around the cells. And then with the gold lacing, I just think it's really soft and subtle and pretty. You can really see the gold lacing there. Um, all in here too. See, oh, there it is, blinging out finally. Camera's cooperating. Yeah, I mean, it's. I'm blown away by the things paint can do. <laughs> That's how I feel. I don't really think it's all me. It's just the magic of fluid art. It really is. It's just freaking magical. Anyway, I don't know what else to say. Stay tuned for the dry results. Hey guys, so I'm just sitting here in my studio. Um, last night, I moved that painting off the floor to put it on my table. Um, that I slide under my big table where I paint and I dropped the tube of paint in it and it's gone. I, I literally screamed when it happened. Like a guttural sound emitted from my mouth. <laughs> um, I'm going to do it again. So I have no dry results to show you. Uh, I waited to post the previous video. So the dry results is, is with that video and I'm going to clean up my studio and work up my courage to go again. Damn it. Damn it. Pardon my language. YouTube, don't penalize me. Um, that was a, that was a jagged little pill for reals. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, onward and upward, I guess. You guys take care. Peace out.